here and here is actually the fuel jets for the back two barrels. This is your accelerator pump. Every time you push the throttle down, this pumps gas. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a squirter. Every time you push that pedal down, the accelerator pump sprays additional gas into the carburetor. Come on. This is the main, this is why we're mainly rebuilding the carburetor. Because this has a number six power valve. Just about every vacuum secondary holly that you'll buy will come with a number six power valve. Which means that this power valve is set up to run on 12 pounds of vacuum. The van runs on 15 pounds of vacuum. So we're using a, um, a 7.5 power valve. So that it'll get the fuel to the back barrels exactly when it needs it. For the front two barrels, these are your main jets. On Holly 600 to 750 CFM, they use a number 70 jet on the fronts. Oh, not coming up with it. Come on. 
If this was to pour out of this hole, I would have to readjust it. But it looks like I got it adjusted pretty good when we first picked it up. So. Oh my god. There's also another Tom Waits. They like Tom Waits. What is in this? Stick your hand in there. Whatever good you pull out for sure. Oh, we got the Bounty Hunter on DVD. Hmm. We got a script. A couple books. Last year's taxes. Or on a floppy disk. <laughs> Howlin' Wolf. The Passover, a Jewish experience. Good you got Violent Themes. Oh, Whoa, don't break that one. <laughs> Traffic. Doors is worth keeping. Uh, it's a quality disk. You see that? <laughs> Bob Marley. Don't break on me, Bob. You're broke. And she came out like this. Bob Marley, the collection. Ooh, that's a collection. That ain't just one. That's all of them. That is. Don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Lonnie? We're thinking futons, correct? Two futons. Two then fold foods. out and make one massive bed. Yeah, all yeah, that's all. You know what I'm saying? So stuff can get touched with other stuff. <laughs> uh, blankets touching sheets. Uh, <laughs> so the couch would go from here probably to that gas field. Yeah, there, probably. Uh -huh. What are you thinking? Kitchen there? Behind the driver's seat? kitchen here. I thought we were putting the futons in the front and the stuff oh, in the back to build okay. the walls. Scratch that. Get it out of your head. Erase it. <laughs> so, futons <laughs> that way. Only bad thing, those aren't lined up. The walls aren't. So, you can put a little coffee table at the end of the futon. Yeah, yeah put a coffee table on it. I hate you. You got a gray <laughs> hair right here. Yeah. You said that every time. I won't cut it. I tried it's to knowledge. get him to let me pluck it. I'm sure the auto mixture screws was just out just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard to tell with my gauge right now because if I was to hook a, a vacuum gauge up to it, I could adjust the, the auto mixture screws and you'd see a change in the vacuum reading and you would uh, keep adjusting it to your, your highest vacuum reading. So I just screwed them in all the way and backed them out of the turn and a half. That should get us pretty close to the ballpark. I don't ever get to be in the day. Back door. Got a can oh yeah, shut that back door. She'll ah, you shut it from inside. I thought I got I got pretty good over there. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'll just put it back up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I Alrighty, fellas. Well, we got the van running a lot better than it was, but we had to order a couple of carburetor parts. But uh, Daniel knows quite a bit about those Hollies, so uh, he should be able to get it tuned in. I know a 750 is a little bit big, a little bit much for that bus, but that's what was on it. Uh, we are, we have decided to do a six-cylinder Cummins, a 12-valve in it, and um, we got a shop going to build us a Cummins as well as a transmission because we want something reliable, has a lot of power, and gets good fuel economy. So I think a Cummins is the best way to go, and the simplicity of it is going to be the best way as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. The next episode, we'll be cleaning the bus, pressure washing it, cleaning out the inside, getting all the junk out of it, and uh, then we should be able to start building the roof rack, the extension off the back. We're going to build like a back porch area on it. It's going to house the grill and stuff. So uh, a lot of stuff coming to this bus. Off-road LED bars uh, sent us a bunch of lights. We've got some rock lights, light bars, all kinds of stuff to throw on this bus. We just got to get ready for that, uh, get the roof rack built and stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Let us know what you think about the bus. 
in the comment section below. Uh, it's going to be a good time. We're hoping to have it uh, at least, you know, good and drivable with the 351 to come to our meetup. So don't forget, our meetup is uh, May 31st and June 1st uh, at Windrock Off-Road Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. You can bring your vehicles and ride on the trails, but it does cost 20 bucks to be able to ride the trails, uh, 20 bucks for a day pass. And uh, But it's free to come hang out in the, uh, the camp area with us and uh, have a good time. So we hope to see everybody there. Make sure to go check out Go Power Sports, Off-Road LED Bars, and uh, Enduramax. Uh, you can use our discount code till May 31st on GeneratorFactoryOutlet.com. That's RBG, and that gets you 20% off of all Duramax products. So go check it out. Let us know what you think of the bus. Thank you for watching this, guys, and we love you. God bless.